Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll be looking into the Turn Undead build for priests to help them solo farm. A priest is a support type role which usually gain experience from teaming up and supporting their allies. However, if you are a support main and don't necessarily have a constant party member, it may be difficult to grind solo, especially if you're leaning towards a full support build. In this video, we'll be looking into how to maximize the turn undead skill of priests to help them instantly kill undead and thus gain a decent amount of experience. Alright, without further ado, let's begin! First things first, let's look at our turn undead skill. Turn undead is a priest active skill which has a chance to kill an undead target instantly. If it fails, it deals holy damage instead. Note that the insta kill will not apply to boss monsters. The chance of an instant kill will be affected by the character's intelligence, luck, skill level, and the target's current HP. Note that the target has to specifically be an undead target. You can usually find these at caves or dungeons. Examples would be the bonguns at Pine Cave or the mummies at the Pyramid. Because the insta kill is only by chance, let's find out how to increase that insta kill chance to maximize our grinding efficiency. First off, you'd want to maximize the skill level of your turn undead skill. A higher level will have increased chances and will deal more damage in the event that a target was not insta-killed. Next, we'd want to work on our attributes. The chance is based on intelligence and luck, so in this build, I focus more on just that, intelligence and luck, rather than vitality and dexterity. You can play around with the ratios as you like, but if you like to focus more on being a turn undead priest, then I suggest you give more emphasis on adding more intelligence and luck. Initially, when I first tried to farm using the turn undead skill, I was using the default intelligence, vitality, and dexterity build, and my turn undead was only at level 5. I can instantly kill undead, but I felt as if the chances of an insta kill weren't as often as I'd like it to be. However, as I reset my skill and attributes to what I just mentioned, there's a noticeable increase in the chance of insta-killing an undead. In terms of the weapon, I'm currently using the Holy Stick Staff as it has a special effect of a reduced cooldown time for the turn undead skill. In terms of battle preparation, here's how I fix my auto-attack slots. I have the turn undead. Magnificat for XP recovery, and Gloria for increased luck. In some cases, I might switch out Magnificat for Kyrie Eleison if the target deals heavier damage. If I have a fourth skill slot, I'll put in Blessing. If you'd like to increase more chances, it's optional to utilize dishes such as the Int Dish and the Luck Dish. In addition, Kitty Cat Mercenaries such as Wasabi or Goro may be useful as well as they provide tanking and healing respectively. If you'd like to know more about kitty cats, I'll link my kitty cat video down below. Now that we're all set, let's head out to grind. As mentioned earlier, your targets should be undead such as the mummies in the pyramid or the munex or bonguns in the pion cave. You can check if the monster is an undead by taking a photo of it, then checking the monster attributes in the adventure book. It should tell under race if the monster is undead. Just know that if you're going for a higher level undead monster, the level difference should not be more than 10, as the experience will get lower beyond that, regardless if it's a higher level monster. Alright, that's it for this video guys! Watch out for my next video wherein I'll show you other different farming spots for undead monsters. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode!